There is a seemingly infinite number of issues that need to be addressed, not just in the country, but around the world. However, Republican Party politicians, they're responsibly focusing on the most important issue that currently is plaguing humanity. No, I'm not talking about global anthropogenic climate change. Of course, I'm not talking about the global pandemic that we're all dealing with. I'm speaking of the great sauce shortage of 2021. Now, if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this Breitbart article should shed some light on the situation. Quote, Chick-fil-A limits sauces per order due to shortage. Now, in response to this article, U.S. Senator Ted Cruz tweeted out, Joe Biden is destroying America. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're a United States senator. <laughs> Ah, now, that's not all, because in response to an article at The Hill about Chick-fil-A's shortage of sauces, QAnon conspiracy theorist and Capitol Insurrection co-conspirator Lauren Boebert responded saying, is there no limit to how awful Biden's America can get? And in addition to her quote tweet, she also responded directly to that article's thread, and she wrote the exact same comment. Um, and the first response is just too perfect because it says, are you going to storm the Capitol in protest? Now, we did manage to capture one video of a public freakout from a Republican who was very outraged at the shortage of sauces. Uh, take a look. I want Szechuan sauce. Where's my Szechuan sauce? I'm pickle Rick. I'm pickle Rick. Rick. Hey, Ted Cruz, this shoe? I'm Ted Cruz. Now, look, I'm sure that you're confused. Maybe it's the case that they're retooling the whole thanks Obama meme, but they're just applying it to Joe Biden. Maybe they're not actually literally blaming Joe Biden for a restaurant chain's sauce shortage. Uh, but no, that they're actually being unironic here. They're literally blaming Joe Biden for Chick-fil-A's sauce shortage. So uh, to give you a little bit more insight into the origins of the story and how this became an issue for the Republican Party, Paul Blessed of Vice News explains Republicans are pinning the blame on President Joe Biden for the gravest crisis currently facing the United States, the great Chick-fil-A sauce shortage of 2021. Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt who is up for re-election next year, sent an email to supporters Monday pointing the finger at Biden over the chicken restaurant supply chain issues, which the company said earlier this month were a result of industry-wide supply chain shortages. Chick-fil-A has a sauce shortage. And you want to know why? Stitt wrote, because of Joe Biden's radical liberal policies. <laughs> The shortages are limiting not only zesty buffalo, oh God, honey mustard and ranch dips. Essentially, every aspect of the global economy from ketchup packets to computer chips has been affected as consumer demands and international supplies were thrown out of whack from the pandemic. And while Biden has pushed for more U.S. companies to manufacture chips in America, there's no word yet on what he's doing about our national condiment emergency. So this is literally something that the Republican Party is trying to make into a thing. They're outraged that they can't get their uh, zesty buffalo sauce from Chick-fil-A, and as a result, they're blaming Joe Biden. <laughs> okay. Um, so I, I looked at the email that Kevin Stitt sent out to kind of see if it's as crazy as it sounds. And also, I wanted to know, is there any specific link between Joe Biden and the sauce shortage? And he really doesn't say anything about that in this email. He does allude to the gas shortage that may have something to do with it. And yes, it is the case that there is a gas shortage. But is there a specific policy that Joe Biden's administration has implemented that has led to said gas shortage? Because I do know that a very large gas uh, pipeline was was hacked did joe biden hack it because if so then perhaps he uh shares some culpability there there was a lot of panic buying i guess you could blame joe biden for not issuing a statement calming the masses i just like you're really stretching here you're really going out of your way 
to try to make Joe Biden responsible for this when, I mean, as president, at the end of the day, you are responsible for everything in the country. But, I mean, really, we're going to make the sauce issue a thing that we demonize Biden over? I mean, look, as a leftist, there's virtually unlimited things that you can criticize Joe Biden for. He's an easy target, quite frankly. But they choose sauces at Chick-fil-A. See, this is why liberals need to understand what leftists say when we tell you don't take Republicans seriously. Don't try to work with them. There's no sense because they're not serious. The issues that they always raise when it comes to Democratic Party presidents are the dumbest issues imaginable. Does anyone remember the scandal with Obama when he chose to wear a tan suit one day or how he didn't salute a soldier the correct way when he was getting on Air Force One. I can't even remember what the scandal was, but he had a coffee in his hand and he like did a half salute or whatever. And that was apparently a really big deal. There's Benghazi, which is something that they tried to turn into this big controversy. They just, they don't know how to criticize Democrats because they agree with a lot that the Democratic Party does when it comes to economics. They agree on a lot more with the Democrats than even leftists do. So what do they do? They try to manufacture these bizarre scandals in order to get the Democratic Party president, but they they go for the dumbest of all dumb scandals. I mean, really? Chick-fil-A sauces? I mean, look, let's just assume for a moment that they're arguing in good faith and they have evidence that I'm not privy to, and Biden really is unilaterally responsible for the great sauce shortage of 2021 is this really like the main thing that you want to make a big deal out of aren't there other things that you can criticize joe biden for i mean really this is this is uh what we're doing chick-fil-a sauces can't get your honey mustard so you're throwing a temper tantrum being a karen on twitter ted cruz really i mean i, I shouldn't pretend to be surprised because this is very uh on brand for the republican party but it's just i don't know i don't even know what to say they're melting down over sauces okay <laughs> me, me, me. Yeah, I'm Alpha male, not a beta male.